Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video. And this is not my house. I wish it was because it's amazing. This is actually my office. This is the place where I work and where I spend pretty much 90% of my entire life here. I'm not complaining, I love this place. Anyway, I'm not here to give you a tour of my office. Instead, I'm here to talk to you about this device. This is the Device Lab by Vanamco. The official description of this device is a responsive development stat, but I like to simply call it a portable device wall. With current screen fragmentation and the plethora of devices out there, making an app or a website that works everywhere in every possible resolution, it's a bit of a nightmare. A device wall is a device that can help you to speed up a lot the testing and debugging process of releasing an application, a website or whatever you want to build. There are plenty of options out there and if you feel crafty enough you could always build one by yourself. People did it with Lego. But what's special about this one is not about how it's built, material or quality, it's something else. The device itself is really simple, light portable and doesn't really need an instruction manual to assembly. The front panel is attached to the stand with magnets and the surface is covered in velcro. With a couple of adhesive strips you can attach all the devices you have and create your favorite setting. You have also these super handy gaps between rows where you can easily slip a cable and hide all the mess inside the device. Unfortunately, cables and the USB hub are not included in the package, but you can easily find it uh, pretty much everywhere. There are a couple of really cheap options on Amazon. A quick suggestion, try to use a USB 3 type of hub with maybe a charger included, so you can keep all your devices constantly on and charged as long as you want. As I said, the device itself is not mind-blowing, it's not something like incredible, but with just $160 you can have with the device also an amazing piece of software. This is GhostLab, a synchronized web development tool for fast testing and inspection. And what it does is pretty simple, but so useful. Basically, when you're building a website, an app or whatever, you can pass it through GhostLab and the software will automatically create a virtual host to remotely connect all the device that you want. It works with both remote URL and a local folders. This is pretty handy. Every time you access the virtual host, GhostLab will recognize the device and add it to the list. You can also open that URL in all the browsers that you have installed in your system. And now comes the funny part. All the devices are remotely connect and sync in real time. It means that if you open the built-in inspector of GhostLab for one browser, for example Google Chrome, and you change one parameter to fix something, that edit will automatically apply to all the connected devices and browsers in real time. How many times did you fix something on a tablet resolution to just realize that you fucked it up on a desktop resolution? That never happened to me, seriously, ne never, never. I'm so accurate in that, never. Now you can check everywhere at the same time and not mess up your code. GhostLab auto detects updates in your source code, so if you like to write fixes directly in your IDE, the system will refresh all your devices for you every time you save a file. Pretty sweet. And as a cherry on top, GhostLab comes with built-in compilers for SAS or TypeScript, cache management, workspace organization, and presentation mode. As you can probably notice, I'm really happy with this device. It helped me a lot in the past week, and uh, during the debugging on testing process, something that normally would take me an entire day to complete, it took me just a couple of hours, and it was not stressful at all. Something that, oh my god, has a developer, removing some stress. Ah. Well, it's pretty much it for this review, I hope you liked it, and if you're interested in checking more specs or buying this device, you can of course find the link in the description below, and if you want me to do more thorough tests, or like test a specific website, maybe your website with this device, and give you a bunch of hints, a bunch of information on how to use it properly, let me know by leaving a comment in the section below. Well, thanks for watching, and with this thing, we can definitely say, happy coding.